Yeah, go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, how's it going? Not too bad. Got a little bit of oatmeal, a lot of bit of fruits, some ground flaxseed on top for everybody. What's this guy? Bananas. That's um, a few bananas and a lot of berries. Oh. A lot of water blended up. Ooh. Oh man, that tastes freaking awesome. It tastes really good. You guys in my house. <laughs> oh, that is so much. Beautiful. Oh, she's leaking all over me. Yeah, gotta let them drain. Uh, I'm gonna hang them up then. A banana fell off. Talk about service. <laughs> I'm sorry, babe. <laughs> but I got trying. Mmm, good. Got some good bananas. Mm hmm. So these bananas might have bunchy top, because that might, might be our last bananas for a while. But we do have another variety, some Nam Wa's. Although it's already been confirmed that they have it. I had it all tested at the, um, at the university. And this tree does have bunchy top virus, but it is making bananas. I don't know how they'll turn out. So we'll see. It's been quite the heartbreak. Is this a cupcake? Is this your size? I mean Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Are you gonna get on video? Yeah. Patterns. <laughs> oh, it's a gluten free, baking, organic cupcake. She's gonna bite you. Anyways. It's 14. She didn't even get to enjoy that. We gotta give her another one. No, don't give her another one. You should go great, crumbs. Great, this is perfect. Just like my life. Ah, Patty! Nah, I need that. I just messed it up. So I know a lot of people are scared of big sharp knives, but this is the safest knife to have in your kitchen. Dull knives are good at cutting one thing, and that's your fingers. So I read up on it. As far as the mushrooms go, uh, is raw better than cooked? And what the consensus seems to be is that uh, raw mushrooms aren't particularly digestible since they have such thick cell walls. And there's also some kind of chemical in the mushroom that can be carcinogenic at extremely high doses, which mushrooms do not provide. So that's kind of a non-issue. But most of the other nutrients in the mushrooms are made more available when you cook them. So we're gonna cook them. So we just put the sushi rice on to cook and I think it's already done. Uh, so sushi rice is short grain white rice. It's a specific kind of rice that makes it a little bit extra sticky. You wanna make sure that you have the sushi rice, otherwise you're just gonna have sushi with a weird texture. It'll look something like this. Now we are going to marinate the tofu, and I got this kind of tofu because it seemed like the best thing that they had at the store, non-GMO soybeans. It's not organic though, but it is processed with calcium, so that's great. I'm also going to cut up and saute some mushrooms, probably in some like teriyaki style sauce to make them taste yummy. Pour in the coconut sugar. That's good. Wait, I wasn't flexing, fuck. Can I do it again? No. Okay, we'll let this sit for a while. I'll turn those little tofu pieces a few times to get them evenly coated. My snack she sees. Oh, nom nom. Nom, nom, nom. Oh, nom nom nom. All right, let's saute the mushrooms. You want to saute the mushrooms? Yeah, I want to saute the mushrooms. Yeah, that's good. The dry yep. run go okay? Yep. All right. How do I know it's ready? Spit in the pan. Ready. Okay. So mushrooms going in. 
Yeah, so and just let the, let the mushrooms sit there for a few minutes and they'll get kind of stuck, but then they'll release themselves and they'll get a little bit brown. Oh, is guy uh, making some big noise? Should I start stirring? Um, stir in 30 seconds. Three seconds or 30? 30. 30. 30. 30. I don't know, but I lost count. I think that's, I think that's 30 seconds. Whew. Oh, fancy pants. Still look a little wet. Bro, oh, you gotta wait for them to look like dry animals. Yeah. I guess not for this, it's fine. Go for it. Mm. Now I'm gonna turn off the heat. Mmm. I try it. Oh! Is it by change? Can you see her? Can you move your legs? This is by change. Do you want a tomato? Yeah, of course I would like a tomato. Oh, Let's just eat them just like this. Let's not. Right now. No, 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 no. They're going to be really good in the sushi. Mm. Dude, you already ate a ton of them. No way, it's just shrunk, I swear. Because I was like, oh, fuck, she's going to blame me for eating them. Because <laughs> I was watching them shrink as we cooked them. Okay. So this is totally optional. If you just want to use plain rice, you can. But if you want your sushi to have a little bit more flavor and taste like the sushi that you have at the restaurant, you're going to have to do uh, some seasoning of your sushi rice. So this is seasoned rice vinegar. That means it has salt and sugar inside. And trust me, it is loaded with sodium. Loaded. So this isn't really a uh, health food. So, you know, it's totally up to you whether or not you want to actually use this. Most of the time, if I make sushi, I don't use it, but Levi likes it. <clears throat> oh, there's um, dog hair and stuff inside that bowl. Oh, we should take care of that. Some drywall dust on the vinegar. And I was gonna use this uh, bamboo paddle so that we look eco and shit. So just get rid of that. Complete with mold. Yeah, it's mildewing. With black it's mold. All natural. Nice, I like the way you think. <laughs> I don't know, what was that? Three tablespoons? You're just gonna you're just gonna fucking saturate the rice. Excuse my French. No, you don't really need to saturate the rice, you know, a little bit goes a long way. Look, at the Japanese restaurants, they saturate the rice, alright? I used to work in one. Okay, so let's try it now, because uh, you know that's how we do it. Well right? that's hot, so you're gonna have to put that in your mouth. What did I say? <laughs> Again, no need shake up. Oh, because you gotta saturate them. Yeah. Woo! And you'll know. Oh, that rice was hot. Now, if you're Levi, you'll know when you have just enough because you leave a, a tiny amount in the bottle that can't ever be used again, ever. It's just enough to not throw <laughs> away the bottle. And then it'll be perfect. Fuck, I don't know why I do that, dude. It just happens. Every time. Mm -hmm. Every time. Perfect. <laughs> there you go. I feel like you might be overworking the rice. Well, because I'm doing it because of the video. I was like, wait, you let me stop when you came for the close up or what? <laughs> it's good. Yeah, see, saturated. Just like that. So, you gotta make sure you get this much left in the bottle and then you're perfect. <laughs> Okay, so I guess we're ready to assembble the sushi. Shoot. Hey, I'm noticing a lot of greasy fingerprints all over this camera. Oh, you blame so. me for everything. <laughs> well. How can I be greasy? We don't even use oil. See ya. <laughs> Look, you give me the eye. Got shit all over it. Blame me for everything. That's because you're responsible for a lot of what I bring up. <laughs> don't forget the avocado now. I know, I always do that. I always forget the avocado or the freaking tofu, or this time I'm gonna forget the mushrooms because they're like outside of my vision. Oops. Yeah, we found some freaking kimchi, which I've had kimchi once and I spit it out. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna see how this goes, but this one has uh, no MSG, no preservatives. Well, I'm not used to there being directions for opening a jar. I don't know if you can see that, but it says don't open. I mean, wait, what does it say? <laughs> to prevent leakage, yeah, he's a napkin. 
or open it over a sink because it blows up. Okay, are you done? Yeah, I'm done. <laughs> okay, and we have nori sheets. So this is just standard roasted nori. If you want to get fancy and do the raw stuff, go for it, but I don't like the taste of that. And I don't like the price. All right, so you're gonna take your nori out. There's a smooth side and a textured side. Smooth side goes out, in my opinion. I don't even know if that's correct. That's, uh, that's what I do. So we're just gonna do like a simple hand roll, none of this fancy rice on the outside stuff. Although I did wanna learn how to make sushi donuts at some point. All right, so you'll take your rice, smoosh it. Oh, we're making some fat sushis, huh? That's the only kind of sushis I make. Here, use Sorry. this and guarantee you're gonna, you're gonna get it done faster. Damn it. Oh, he's right. Okay, so you wanna smooth out your rice and make sure that you get it into the corners because that's the mistake that everybody makes. They don't get into the corners and then their rolls fall apart and all your tofu is dangling out the end and they wonder where they went wrong. Well, that's where you went wrong. You're gonna leave a little like one inch strip of, unex mm. of exposed noddy. Do you wanna put on your futakake? Yeah. <clears throat> so this is our futakake that we use. Yep. It's like a mixture of seaweed, a little bit of sesame oil, I think, uh, sugar, salt, and whatever else. Most of them have fish flakes in it, but we get the one without the fish flakes. Yeah. Oh, shit. Oh, you're supposed to open it under the sink. Didn't you see the directions on oh, the top of the jar? Under the sink? Open it under the sink. No, open it over the sink. <laughs> you said under the sink. I did. <laughs> shit. You're gonna put everything pretty much right down the middle, maybe a little bit closer. Holy oh, fuck <laughs> See him, I was over the sink. Maybe a little bit closer to you. When you load everything up. Alright, we got some tomatoes, some red pepper, red onion, some carrot strips, cucumber, tofu. Okay. So then you'll get the edge of your sushi. And go along, make sure the nori's not ripping. And then I put it on the, uh, balanced on the back of my fingers and start rolling. Then we're gonna transfer it to the palms. Hold the f toppings as you roll above. Keep rolling and then your rice will join. And then you'll smoosh along the exposed nori. And that nice, hot, moist rice is gonna <clears throat> seal it. So for my sushi, I'm gonna use unseasoned rice instead of the seasoned sushi rice. And then I'm not gonna go quite as crazy with the futakake because some of us blow up <laughs> when they eat that much sodium. So to avoid looking like a blowfish tomorrow, I'm gonna go easier on the salt. Plenty rice though. You can either have your sushi like a burrito, like Levi likes to do sometimes, or you can cut your sushi up into pieces. For that, you're gonna need a really sharp knife and it can pay to wet your knife in between each cut if you want it to look professionally done. Hey, what did you say about the knife? See, that's what happens when you're screwing around instead of listening. Did you say wet your knife? Did I? Shit, I got avocado on it. I'll see ya. Yeah, well, I, I, I noticed right away me. too, didn't I? So I hold really close to where the, the knife is cutting. You just have to be careful. And then with as little wiggling as possible, go all the way through and make sure you go all the way through because it's those little hang-ups right on the bottom of the board that'll mess you up when you try to plate this. With the extra veggies from the sushi, I'm going to cut them all up and then throw them together with some purple cabbage and make a wee little salad. Beautifully done. Thank you, Director Beautifully Levi. <laughs> Come on, let me take over. What I want to cut you... something shit that ain't cut nothing all, all night. No, I didn't cut nothing all night. Just finger off. Be careful. I know what I'm doing. Top top. Come, top. Go. Why is the tripod backwards? It's backwards? <laughs> Let us the camera in. Give him No, don't give it to her. Papa, I 
This side. Let me get the last little bit in there. Watch that bottle. Sorry, I was looking at the camera. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, watch my face with that bottle. <laughs> I think you might have splashed some uh, sweet chili garlic sauce on the lens. I made it worse, if anything. <laughs> Stop making me laugh! I smell like, like I've been smoking for 30 years. <laughs> <laughs> the mushrooms really, really take it to the next level. Mm -hmm. Like how you made your avocados all nice. How did you get a nice avocado? Um, I smeared it, like smoothed it with my fingers after you had massacred it. You took that after I took this? Yeah. Dude, we gotta do the sushi eating contest again. <laughs> so I can beat you again? That was bullshit. You didn't know that was bullshit. <clears throat> Who was it? Fuck, I had such a big lunch too though that day. And it was like the only time I ever did that. Ever. I'm pretty sure what you had for lunch was excuses. Because that's what you had for dinner too. Oh yeah. Damn, my sushi exploded. You gotta do it fast like this. Fast like this, watch. From the plate. Mm -hmm. Don't even give it a chance to fall apart. <laughs> I've never been good at fast stuff. Can you stop rattling the bag? Jeez. Careful. I have two pointy objects. Oh shit! Sorry. And there you go. Oh, fuck! I have a car fell down. <laughs> I think June's is pretty stoked, though. Man, people were really stoked on the toki noises last time. I think we need to wait until it gets dark. Oh, uh, for real? Yeah. That <laughs> 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 wasn't Koki's, that was just me. Oh! Fuck off! <laughs> <laughs>